Hey, I just wanted to give you guys a couple of ideas on a, uh, a science project. You, I don't see a whole lot of these out here, at least nothing in detail. And this is one that my daughter and I did when she was in, I believe, fifth grade. I was digging through storage and I found it. And I thought it was a pretty good one. Good for an A. Uh, fairly simple. Pencil lead light bulb. What we did is we went uh, zombie theme. Zombies attacked and you needed to maybe have a, a light bulb to save your behind in an abandoned home or something like that. And then you could build yourself a light bulb if you happen to find a battery and you had a pencil on you. That kind of stuff. And there's basic list of what you need. Pencil lid or pencil. Mason jar, battery, wire, uh, flat board, super glue, tape, and a little bit of wood. And you'll see why in a second. And, uh, and you gotta have your pictures, of course. You're building it. And, and we just kind of decorated it and made it all pretty cool. Now I did a little different than what uh, other people have used. Everybody else is trying to tape a bunch of batteries together. I just went and picked up this uh, little $30 rechargeable. It's a uh, interstate brand is the one I got, but you can get these in just about any brand. You can get them off Amazon, eBay, whatever. Completely sealed, completely rechargeable. They use them a lot in uh, flood lamps for like emergency lighting and things like that. And uh, put it all on the board. It's a very old board, got a lot of dirt on it, like I said, it's been in storage. That's where the mason jar comes in. And what we did is we glued the uh, lid down and we brought the wires. You can see the alligator clips and we brought them around, taped them to the edge, brought everything around there. And I glued, had a little groove put in there so that the wires would pop up through the bottom. And you see that. And we took this piece of wood here and we glued that to the base, brought the wires up that. And then we can put the element right between the two alligator clips. And then with that glued down, we can take our lid, and I just broke the pencil lid when I did that. That sucks. So, jump cut. All right, as you can see, the lid is replaced. Wait at the bottom, couldn't get it out. Then your lid will just screw right into here. This will stop a lot of the air from getting to it. It'll still breathe through that little notch. Caution hot, you're dealing with children. And then it's just a matter of hooking up your alligator clip to the little wire here. And ready. And there's your light bulb. Extremely freaking bright. And it just keeps working, and working, and working. Really simple to do. Really cool art pro or science project. That's it without the, you can see. Now you don't want to leave this on too long. Like I say it gets very hot. And of course, like I said, this helps protect kids from grabbing it, burning themselves. And what we used, which is 0.7 lead. Now if you want it to maybe last a little longer, say for the whole science fair, you, with this big of a battery, put in these many amps, you could put a thicker lead or a couple of these leads in there. Now, what I would have done differently, if I'd have thought about it, is I would have put maybe a toggle switch or a button here you know, right here so that all you have to do is push the button, push the button, push the button, and then maybe a little sign, do not hold for more than three seconds. And, uh, and that would have been your deal. So I think it's a pretty cool science project. And if you're looking for any ideas, you can always improve on this. Don't have to follow everything exactly the way we did it. And uh, for a fifth grade science project, I think it's pretty good. So, hope y'all like it. Have a good day.